Are you locked up here? Could be. Oh, what was that? Have you been up these stairs before? Yep. Yes. yes. It's a definite yes. yes. This could be our most scariest haunted location to date. All sorts of paranormal activity has been happening here over the years. A toilet roll flew from behind me and hit my colleague. There's like an energy, uh, like an energy flow, like a flow of energy. Felt like there's somebody coming down the steps. A young child grabbed the back of my calf. Here we go again. Uh, magazines flew off the table. Used to come down here and have a crafty cigarette. I've heard faint whistling. There was no one in the hotel at that time. Go into room six, you'll see um, an image of the lady in blue. What was that? Over the years, we've had members of staff here. We've seen a ghostly figure walking through walls. We've had guests who say they've actually been touched by a spiritual being. What is actually going on here? We're haunted here, Jim. But tonight, I'm here with the Haunted Hitching team at the Priory in Hitching, Hertfordshire. This could be our most scariest haunted location to date. Over the years, we've had members of staff here. We've seen a ghostly figure walking through walls. We've had guests who say they've actually been touched by a spiritual being. What is actually going on here? Well, I'm in reception and I've got Ravinda here. And now, you were just telling us you don't go down in the cellar. Is that right? No, um, it's quite a lot of us, really. We wouldn't go down to the cellar by ourselves because we do feel as though it, it feels a bit eerie and uncomfortable, okay. as if there is something down there. Has so there been any there. stories that you can recall that people have seen anything or heard anything? Um, I haven't seen anything or heard anything. Um, Just a general presence about yeah, the place. Yeah, it's, it is, you do feel some cold spots down there as well. Okay. And it just it doesn't feel right down there, whereas ev everywhere else in the building is fine, apart from So it's certainly cellar. not a place you go on your own? No, definitely not. And I wouldn't work. And once I was down there by myself um, in the bar, and I just wanted to get out. Well, okay. I, wanted to, uh, I wanted someone there with me, yeah. The White Lady? Which yeah. Is, which uh, is a, a, a sort of... That's so a common story. Common yeah. story, yeah. And you've actually seen this apparition. Yeah. So um, it was a couple of years ago when we've had. I think it was around about Christmas. We had a really small party okay. in the cellar bar, and so about twenty people. Um, and I walked up. I walked upstairs, and it's the lady was actually on the stairs in a white dress. And I came down and I spoke to the host of that party. He says, right. "Oh, one of your guests is upstairs." He said, and I said, it's a lady in a white dress, and he said, oh, she's not part of our party. Oh, she's very, very sort of old-looking sort of clothes. Yeah, 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 long dress down to her ankles. Okay. But she just looked normal. She just looked like, as if she was part of... Uh, and you did party. mention, actually, at the same time, there was another room here. Yeah. That you see a lady looking out the window. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. There's a music room upstairs, okay. and years and years ago, the um, story I've been told is that a lady, um, she's waiting for her neck boyfriend to come back from the Navy okay. and somebody didn't make it and then she committed suicide. But the room itself? It's, it's um, eerie, it's cold and it smells different. Okay. It smells a bit dampy um, yeah. but it's not dampy, it's, it's this eerie smell it's got um, and we all went up there one day and we were just messing about like staff do <laughs> and um, one of the girls she actually took a picture by the window and she's got a white line down Wow. down the picture so yeah fantastic well thanks for sharing those that's uh, all right. thoughts with us that's, that's yeah. brilliant thank you that's okay was it you that was in here was somebody in here a minute ago I wonder if that's what you saw. Could be some someone, uh, uh, like some sort of spirits in this cellar, Tony. 
Do you think? I don't know. I mean, we're obviously picking stuff up. We're picking stuff up. We're picking stuff up. We're picking stuff up. There we go again. I just, it's just too short to pick out exactly what it is. Are you a man or woman? Will your man say yes? There's definitely something here. There's definitely something here. It's just we're close, but not quite close enough to pick out what they're saying. Maybe there's just too many of us here, Tony. 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 Good evening. I'm still on the trail of the most haunted, scariest places here in town. We've put the team back together and we're here for another investigation. Where are we this evening? All will be revealed. This is Haunted Hitching. Nineteenth century cottages that were knocked together, and I know that it um, was once a pub called the Postboy Inn, um, but I don't really know much more about it than that. The most important thing is, have you had any experiences yourself? Um, I have, I have, and some of the other staff have. If we're on our own, either first thing in the morning or late in the evening that we can hear footsteps upstairs and we know that we're the only people in the building so we've had that we also had um, a member of staff who on his days off sometimes used to pop in when he was out walking the dog and it's quite a, well, it was a large Airedale and it was quite happy to go anywhere in the shop but it didn't like the clock it wouldn't come past here and we don't know why it just spooked him um, and the only other thing I can think of is that we had uh, my keys 
a set of keys that went missing. We all hunted high and low, couldn't find them. And the next day we came in and they were in plain view on the desk. And four of us had looked for those keys. No idea what happened. What's going on there, Tom? Jesus. There's some serious activity here. It's, when I... it's there. It's there. It's right on this point here. Did something happen here? Yes. Yeah. yes. Can we help you? <laughs> what was that? What was that? Oh my god. What was that? That was, from the that was straight ahead. Back in the map room, yeah? Is that you? Spirits? Did you do that? Oh! What was that? We come from here. Oh, I've gone with the goosebumps. Oh, quick, quick, get in there, get in there. It's, I'm hot in here normally, I'm cold. Whoa, there is a just dripping oh, breeze. It's freezing. I've got goosebumps. Oh my God. I'm actually, yeah. I'm shivering. Oh, whoa, whoa. You know what? What the heck is that? That's a... <gasps> Oh my god. On the floor. That sounded a lot like <laughs> what we flipping heard. Where was it? On the floor? Just on the floor here. I walked, I walked through there about was, two minutes ago. It was, was definitely not there. Oh, it's Spirits, was that you? Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was. Oh, 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 it was. Did you just knock something off the shelf? <coughs> it sounded like, yeah. That was, weird. that was really weird. What was it? You think it was that? That was on the floor. It was, the, it was two. There was two noises. It? It, was one, it, was it was like a. It looks like, like that or something, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. Stop. Stop what? Tell us what you want us to do. What's going on? It's weird. Uh, it's just. like this the other they're not flashing away like that that's crazy isn't it what the... come on say something Time you say that, I, I, I really feel it. You feel it as well? Yeah. Going mad again. Oh, I've never ever felt queasy before. It's going mad again, Tony. I mean, is it a, an accident or did they just die of some sort of. Oh. 
Mm, what is that? What is that? There's nothing here. There's nothing there in the middle of the room. Well, not the middle of the room, but you're not. There's no. Did someone hurt you? What's that? What's happening, Tony? Why is that doing what that? What the heck? She's off the scale. Why is it doing that? Oh my god. Oh! That's going mad as well really? now. That's, that's, that's warning level, isn't it, Tony? I, I'm not familiar with that one, to be honest with you. But that, that's, that's, giving, I that's, that's indicating a strong reading. I haven't got any, uh, I feel a bit sick. Again. That's really, you, you're going off the scale there. Are you using Beverly's energy? That's right. Speak to me. There. It's on your arm. I haven't got anything oh. on me to. Was it here? Was it about here that something happened to him? That's really weird, Beth. Mm. The thing is, I'm the one who keeps feeling queasy. Yeah. I can't explain that at all. I mean, there's no readings coming off me, is there? Not a sausage. And you're the one holding the camera? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. It's me. What? It's just nothing. Nothing. It's gone. When that thing. Why on earth is it? Why is it doing it just on, to and me? And on yourself and on you, Ray? No? Look at that. I mean. Why is it doing it on me? I haven't got anything. I on think, me. I think, I think they're using using you. And that's why I'm feeling sick. I keep feeling sick. It's all over you. And I do feel. Come here. Nothing. <laughs> I'm going to take the spirit home with me. Yeah. <laughs> do you, can we? No, I don't want it home. Well, it's another dark, cold, wet evening here in Hitchin Town Centre and we're still on the trail of the most haunted, scariest places in town. Now tonight, we're in the churchyard in the old medieval part of town. A lot of the buildings here date back at least 400 years. We're going to be staking the place out at Anne Marie's. Now, this is right in the heart of the churchyard. Staff here have said they've heard all sorts of funny noises going upstairs, hangers moving, we're going to go in, check it out, and hopefully come up with some answers. Well, to get an idea where we are, Anne-Marie's shop is right behind us. And we're actually in the churchyard. Now, if there's lots of paranormal stuff going on, I mean, you can see why, because of all the gravestones around here. Certainly, churchyards have traditionally always been associated with restless souls. Of course, we're surrounded by tombstones here. And we're literally 10 yards from the shop, so it is really in a, in a very interesting spot. And if you think Hitchin's a quiet, peaceful sort of backwater, not always the case in the past. The church, for instance, what you see now is from the dates from the very early part of the 14th century, but it was damaged by fire during the wars with the Danes, by storm, by hurricane, and there was actually an earthquake here as well, uh, causing it to be rebuilt. Okay. The third vicar of St Mary's was actually beheaded for murdering a nun. Notice the smell of tobacco smoke on the ground floor and um, also the sound of hangers being moved when there's no one downstairs. We often get the feeling that you're being pushed down the stairs on these stairs. You know, the, the, every, every member of staff has felt this and um, it's just kind of an uncomfortable feeling. Sometimes when I'm making a cup of tea, I hear this noise and makes me feel very uneasy.
feet. Yep. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Okay. Are we off? Is that Griggs? Like yeah. Yeah. That that's that was a male's oh. voice. <gasps> Sounded like Griggs. That was Griggs. Mm. Sounded like Griggs then. Is Frederick here? Did you live here? It's from this window that the grey lady was seen looking out by several people. Okay, I'm now feeling a bit giddy. Are you? <laughs> I'm off. Yeah. It's always you. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that then? It's just not clear words. It's the word coming through, yeah. Try harder. Use our energies. I'm getting hot. <laughs> Mr. Grigg, speak to us. Yeah. We're now in the kitchen, and this is where ja Jackie, she quite often stands here and she hears what coat, coat hangers okay. rattling out there. So there's obviously something going on here. Mm. Oh, that was a woman's voice then. Mm. Who's the lady with you? That was the first time we heard a woman's voice. Yeah. Is this the grey lady? It's got to be, isn't it? It's definitely better. They're definitely the... The grey, the grey lady? Who looks out the window? Really, really, really cold down here. I need to get out. Stuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary, isn't it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? I don't know, there's, there's some weird <laughs> going on in there. I walked back to where that ladder was to have a look at that, and it was almost like something touched me on the shoulder. Oh my god. I mean, there's lots of cobwebs hanging down, but it's, um, it's one of the most scariest places I've ever been, I think. All you can hear now is just a dripping of water. What is this place? Now I hear a lot of creaking on the stairs.
been told that on the stairs that the that a child was pushed down one of these stairs. <coughs> that a child was pushed down one of these stairs. <coughs> that a child was pushed down one of these stairs. <coughs> What was that? It's creaking on the stairs again. Was that you? Did you just throw something at me? So it fell down the stairs. I was just talking about the stairs. Are you up here? I can now hear something up in that corner there. Is it somebody up here with me? You're right there. Did you hear that? No. Did you hear that noise? No. <laughs> You're gonna have to come up downstairs. here. Downstairs, we can just see you shout. Something in that corner over there. Right, let's turn the lights out. It was over what there. Was it? it was like scratching. Did you not seriously hear it downstairs? No. Say Bev. <laughs> yeah, you <it's>, spooked Bev. <laughs> Ooh, oh, you say Bev. You did say Bev. Say Bev. Did you say Bev? Beverly's here. Well, it's another dark, cold evening here in Hitchin Town Centre. And we're still on the trail of the most haunted, scariest places in town. Tonight, we're in the heart of the old medieval part of town, called Sun Street. Well, it's through this old coaching entrance you come across the market theatre. Now staff here have reported all sorts of things going on. Noises, things being moved. What dark secrets does this building hold? Right, well, Glyn, what can you tell us about the theatre itself? Uh, well, the theatre's been here as a theatre since the end of 96. Okay. Um, it's built inside an old, well, we think possibly built inside uh, an old courtyard. Okay. Um, I mean, you do get a weird sense there's a lot of sort of hidden areas in this theatre so when you yeah. come up here when you're on your own and it's all dark you do feel very sort of it feels very oppressive. Um, I was waiting backstage so I was just behind That's where the thing. curtains are over there yeah. um, and I was about to sort of make an entrance and as, as I was waiting there was a flash I saw what I thought was almost like someone had flashed a light onto a metallic surface that sort of flashed from across the other side of the thing. Wow. I mean, I, I thought at the time that someone maybe had, there was a torch on the stage as part of the set. I thought maybe yeah. someone had turned it on by accident. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I found out after the show that the two actors that were on stage, that they were about here, yes. had both felt a similar sort of presence at around the same, same time. time. And they thought it was me turning a light on backstage. Um, and then at the same time, uh, uh, the guy who was doing the lights up there, David, um, he saw what he thought was someone almost getting up onto the stage. Wow. Um, and that story, uh, in, in different ways, has been echoed through different shows over the years. So we've actually had a number of different actors, um, all, none of them who know each other actually, right. um, that have all had different experiences where they've been doing shows here, um, and in that they felt something or someone get up onto the stage in or, this corner. In this corner, yeah. Is there anyone here who wants to talk to us? Yeah, there is. Are you female? Did you die here? Oh, right, okay. What? Yeah, not. What? I think that was what I need to set my headphones off so I can actually hear it. Okay. Is there someone in this actual space here? Yeah, they say it's mm -hmm. here. True, right? Cold. Has it got cold? It's got cold here. 
Oh yeah, just here. Can yeah. you feel it? Yeah. And now we need the door. That's, is it? But you can feel the actual. Mm -hmm. That was a woman's voice. That was a woman's, that was a woman's, woman's voice. Then. Stop what? Ooh. Oh, hold on, we've got the three. Oh, yeah. 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 Did. Did something happen here? Or this is where you came a lot? Yeah, yeah go right, can you carry that? I'll just take that, I don't think this is going to... I'll keep this on my book. You're working out. Oh, that's really good. Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, it's now. Yeah, for a long time we had a curtain across here and we had... Um, my uh, boss's wife actually was watching a show and peering through the curtain just about here. Yeah. Um, and she fa felt the sensation of someone running their fingers through her hair. Okay. Um, and that's happened a couple of times in this in this little area here. When when it was all enclosed, so when it was you had the door shut that side and the curtain shut this right. side. You had that that, I mean, that sort of feeling. So. Yeah. Open and we've shut it before. I've just tried to shut it now and it's really stiff. I can't. It's hard to pull open, isn't it? Is there anyone here here backstage? Got here, wasn't it? Shut that door now. Yeah. So you It's another dark, cold night here in Hitchin Town Centre. Now this evening, I'm still on the trail for the most scariest haunted places in town. The building I'm in tonight, up until the 1960s, was a bastion of law and order for this town. I'm at the old courthouse and police station here in Bancroft. It still has its own cells and it still has its own old courtroom. The staff who work here say there's a real eerie, sort of ghostly feeling about the place. What is going on? Well, we put the team back together and we're here to investigate. I actually work in the back building, which is the old courthouse and is now the education support centre in Hitchin. Uh, we keep uh, term time hours, but the, over the last seven years of having worked there, I've got to know some of the staff who work in this building, the police station, and they've recounted their experiences over the years um, of paranormal activity. Um, one person in particular, um, an ex-member of staff, would regularly come over and, and, and tell us all about something, different things that had happened. Um, and I think really what stuck in my mind was that twice he attempted to get the building exorcised by different priests. 
um, because he particularly experienced things like cold spots on the stairs. There was a shadow once on the stairs that wouldn't move, wouldn't leave. Um, and most of all, most regularly, when the staff were downstairs in the offices, they would hear really loud noises of things being scraped across the floor upstairs, knowing that there was nobody up there. Um, and it would sound like furniture, but it would be really, really loud. And obviously they would go and investigate, and there was never anything there. So because of these happenings, he, he did call in a priest twice. At one time it was a Catholic priest and another time it was an Anglican priest. But the second occasion, um, I'll never forget because he came over to us after the, he'd let the priest out and uh, he said oh, he'd been around the building with his holy water and, and saying some prayers. And on letting him out the door, something growled. And he said it was really, really loud. And he came over to us and he was very, very upset. And he said, I turned to the priest and I said, what was that? And the priest said, what was what? And he didn't hear it. He said it was really, really loud. And he said it was something that was, it sounded very angry. So I mean, mm. okay, prisoner coming out, look through, yep. He's with with an officer or something. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Unlock it all. Yeah. Big, big heavy bolts here. Obviously went in the wall. Yeah. That's along here. Yeah. Is the um, cells along here? So if we check them out first. Now this is the cell we're going to go into, which is, as Andre said, someone committed suicide. Someone committed suicide. So let's try it. I must admit I'm a bit nervous about this. Yeah. It, we both felt very. Well, when we first one. went in earlier, we definitely felt something in there. Yes. And now it's dark. And everyone's gone. Yeah. And it's just us. OK, I'll see you, Brad, I think. See that straight away? It's like cold. Dryness. Dryness. I didn't think there was a radiator in there, but there is. So it is extra icy cold in there, considering there's a radiator in here. It's a really weird feeling in there. Mm. You can see it. it. Must be very damp in here as well. Perhaps that's something to do with the Maybe why we're feeling so cold, to be fair. Yeah. And this is probably a good place to, to have a go at the spirit box. Yeah. Hey. 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 Were you locked up here? Could be. Could be. Could be. Mm. So, did you go to prison from here? Probably. Probably, yeah. What was your name? Um, Sid? I'm interested enough, I'm also getting the name Sid. Although, was that the policeman? Cedric? Stop. 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 Cedric, is it Cedric? Is your surname Winterton? Winterburn? How long were you in here for? Stop, stop again. But we keep getting stopped, don't we? Yeah. Did you die in this cell? Is it this cell? This cell is getting colder. It is. My hands are freezing. The EMF <laughs> Nothing at the moment. Stop again. When we switched this on when we first arrived, this went mad, just in this doorway. We're still talking away over there. Mm. Well, it's all gone a bit quiet. Mm. Um, should we move on? Perhaps mm. we should try the courtroom, shall we? Try the courtroom. Show us you're here somewhere. Well, this would have been the way out of the cells up to the court. Right. So let's, let's do that journey. Let's do that journey. Take him with us. So this uh, gateway you see here. Up. 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 
He said up. That was clear. Really? We're going up. We're going up to the courtroom. Is that okay? Have you been up these stairs before? Yes. yes, that's a definite yes. Yes. Anyway, this this gate, this takes us up to the old courthouse upstairs. So we need to go up there. Let's see what's up there. Did you kill someone? Did. It was yes, I think. Yeah. Yes or did? Yeah. Who did you kill? This is your chance to speak now. Tell us what happened. Was that the lady that you murdered who spoke then? Yes. Don't believe you. Are you going to speak or not? See if we can get some reactions. Yes. We're just talking directly. So, is there a prisoner here? If there is, make some sort of sound so we know you're here. It's very tense in this room, isn't it? Yeah, it's very, very tense in this room. It, there is noises. There's noises now. Is it yeah. just noises? Because is it noises in the building or is it because there's someone here? We have traffic noise going outside. Yeah. But there's something a bit more. Come on, we need a definite sign if you're here. We're not here to do any harm. We're just here to say hello. Yeah. So you've got nothing to be afraid of from us. Nothing's really happening. No. Let's, let's just have a little walk around up that, there. Nothing's moving, the lights aren't going on. I think we need a, a bit of a wander around. There was definitely some banging or something over there. Did well, there's definitely some creaking sounds. There was, um, but then it's windy. It could be. Actually, it's all double glazed, isn't it? So yeah. It's, it's, it's probably the warmest room in this building. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. is quite warm, isn't it? Come on, do something, do something. Make something move. Come on. Was that, was that, that's the ball? What? Ball is off the table. No, 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 no. Where is that gone? That's just, no, 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 no that didn't move, did it? Did, did one of you move that? No. Oh. <laughs> it, was, it was over there. But it's disappeared now. I heard it. It must have just rolled off under. 
It's not, there's no wind or anything in here, is there? I'm sorry, that bat is freaking me out. Where's it gone? I can't believe that's just disappeared. Oh, oh my God, there's two. There's two. That's bizarre. Oh, it's gone. Now, could it have rolled off the table? It sounded like someone threw it off the table. Did it to you, or am I just making that up? Well, I heard a that sort of sound. Yeah. I mean, it could. I mean, it could have been. Could have been. But this table is. Oh, I can't move it. I mean, did, did we make a sort of breeze when we got up or something? I don't know. No, did you just move this table? Did you just move the ball? That is really weird. 